Hey guys, so I'm in a different place right now and I need to go and get my car done. So we're gonna wash my car on the outside, clean it on the inside, hopefully all today. It keeps raining in and out, so I'm gonna try and like quickly clean the outside of my car. So. Hey guys, so different area, still at my nanny's house. I just sat down, I'm gonna do some editing. This day has gone really, really quickly, but I thought that it'd be really nice to do some editing here because this view is crazy. This is the reason that um, my grandparents actually bought this house because of it. I am going to go and do a big, like my everything shower. I'm so excited. I am so excited. My hair really needs to be washed. I'm gonna wash my face now, do, do like a face mask and then after that then I'll hop in the shower and do my everything shower I'm so this is something that like I really need to do oh my gosh yeah great so let's go wash my face because this is my home and I don't have all my products with me I have to use baby wipes or facial wipes most of my makeup is probably like melted off during the day anyway. I love this house so much, especially when it's like this quiet. So this is my grandmother's house, but she's selling it and she's away at the moment. So I'm just like looking after it. Nobody knows I'm here. It's perfect. I was meant to be like, packing stuff up for her so that when she comes back lots of stuff is, do is done but so far I've just been sitting down relaxing clean my car had dinner with my mom I also got this well it's actually my mom's but she never uses any of these stuff she always gets loads of them you know them presents with everything in it never uses it so yeah. And I'm just going to use my cellar water because I have nothing else, as I said before. And I'm going to put moisturizer on my eyes to get all that mascara off. Great, so. All my face is off now. Now, let's get a mask done. Face mask. Um, it's supposed to calm the skin, so. I hope it does. So my skin needs it. There we go. I like to do the face mask before the shower because I find it so hard to clean it off my face afterwards. Whereas in the shower, it can just, yeah, I'm not worry. I get really weird when like water trickles down my like, whole. Oh. But this way, I don't gotta worry. Perfect. You can't even really see it, but it's off. Okay. I started watching Sister Sister, and it's amazing. It's so good. Yeah. So I'm gonna probably watch some of that. So let's watch Sister Sister. So it's night. It's really dark here. It's half nine. I have a favorite glass as well. So. My favorite glass. Now, let's go into the sitting room. Oh no, we were too late for the view. Wait a second. So, yeah, we we're too late for that. It's crazy because, hello. It's crazy because, sorry, you're in a terrible angle, but 20 minutes ago, you were still able to see stuff, and now you're not able to. Time for a shower. So, I just got out of the shower. You probably can tell by the steam. Um, I'm just so happy. It's ridiculous how much being able to just have like a really, really, really long shower 
can change everything. In my apartment, I can only take a shower for about, if I'm lucky, like 15 minutes. So it's either a hair wash day or a shave day, but never both in one. So this, this is heaven. I'm so happy. So basically, this is where I was sitting the whole time looking out. I'm sorry, I know, I'm super hyper, but I've literally been listening to music really loud because I'm in the middle of nowhere. So no one can complain and it's been so much fun. So I'm gonna go and um, I have no idea what that noise is. One second. Never mind, it was just the shower. So I'm gonna make a cup of tea now and oh, do my skincare. My skin is really dry after that face mask. It's so funny because this house makes so many weird little noises and I never would notice except everything is so quiet. So sometimes I do scare myself, but we're okay. Tea cup. So I've never actually been alone in this house before. This is my first time ever in 35 years. No, um, in 30 years, I've never been in this house alone. Except, you know, during the day, if, you know, that's different. But yeah, I've never stayed overnight in this house alone. This is probably the first time ever in 30 years that no one's in the house. But the house is actually empty. Wait, no. Like tomorrow night's gonna be the first night in 30 years that the house will be empty because somebody was here last night as well. Which is crazy. Um, I would love more than anything <clears throat> to be able to live here full time. I love this house. I love that it's in the middle of nowhere. I say that now, but I haven't actually eaten one to bed yet, which is going to be hard. But it's going to be fine. So I had started a vlog and I absolutely hated it. So I scrapped it. Um, can you hear the cows? Um, yeah, I scrapped it. I hated it. Cows are crazy. Um, absolutely hated it. Um, I was very discouraged. And then I just was like, fine, I'll just move on to the next one. And it's great, I think. Well, I'm happy with it. So who cares? Not that I'm happy with it, but I'm excited to to edit it. So, yeah. So let's go to the sitting room. Cheers. I'm so sorry about the lighting in here, but gotta do what I gotta do. During the week, people I know from when I was younger, when I was a teenager, we went to Alaska and did a show around Alaska. Um... We have a 20 year anniversary next year. So they're all like organizing it and things like that. And I am excited to see people, but at the same time, I'm really anxious to see people because I'm not where I thought I would be at this point in my life. And 
yeah i just don't want others looking down at me and like feeling sorry for me i don't want any of that crap because you know i'm where i'm meant to be i couldn't imagine myself anywhere else but yeah these anniversary things of people who you don't know or like you haven't seen since you were like you very young and you had thought your life would go in a certain way and it didn't and yeah people with kids who are married all of that and going to it being single oh no children and I don't know if it's I'm immature for my age or what it is but I'm just not in that place which is scary scary but yeah so that's kind of like in the back of my mind as well like thinking of having to meet all these people who I haven't seen in over 10 years because I was in school after we went and did this trip which we're all talking in the group we're like how did our parents allow us to fly to the other side of the world we stayed in like the middle of nowhere in really scary churches or at random people's houses and we were kids Anyway, whatever. I'm getting away. But yeah, so I'm just going to do my skincare now. Oh, I had this nightmare last night. I hope I'm not talking too much. Sorry if I am. But I had this nightmare last night. It was basically, you know, just a regular dream. And then all of a sudden at the end, everybody was like laughing at me and I was like, oh my God, what, what's happening? And I looked at myself and like all my insecurities were out and everybody was like, oh yeah, you've been like that the whole time. And everybody who you've seen or who've seen you has seen all of that and have been laughing at you. So I really wanted to spend like a little bit of time today just like on myself, focused on me and yeah, not, not thinking of that dream. But anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Morning. You can't see me. Good morning. Let's do this. Gonna have these ones today. <coughs> cool, so I'm gonna have my breakfast. Mm -hmm. Hey, so I'm still hungry. I had the bowl of cereal, it's done. But I'm still hungry, so I'm gonna do this. And then, I think this is a berry jam. My grandmother makes all the jam. Oh, so yeah. I'm still watching Team Tamara. Okay. 
following the linings on your cheeks. Cause baby, in your absence, life is born. The most important thing. I know this is good, but there might not be people in the house to eat it, so. Sorry, I'll leave you guys alone now. So I think this cat here, so they're all strays, but I think this cat here is sick or something because this little head used to be like a big fat head. Um, it seems to be getting really skinny even though it's fed so much. And this little one, it's fine. This one, not very little, it's kind of fat. But they're all stray cats. None of them are my grandmother's cats. It's unfortunate because these cats, don't worry, I'm not coming out to you. I'll finish your food. It's unfortunate because these cats are stray cats and they seem to have cancer, a lot of them. So they keep dying, but they're super cute. And also because they are stray, they are like vicious with each other. Like they will mm -mm -mm, kill each other, literally. My granddad was in the sitting room one time and actually watched one of them killing the other one and yeah I kind of was really upset for a very long time after that so it's a bit later now I need to eat you might be able to tell I'm a little bit grumpy because I haven't eaten since this morning so I have these croquettes let's do four let's see how it is I'm so hungry that I don't even, I don't, I don't care. So, yeah. Sorry, but these look amazing. I know it's literally just potato, but. So this is the croquettes. There's cheese there. There's some ham underneath. And I'll put some hot, hot sauce on there. Unfortunately, I have to leave now. I really don't want to. I wish I could stay here forever. Um, well, yeah. Next time you see me, I'll be in Dublin. See you there. Bye.